when it when it comes to this play, like we walking them step through steps on how to how to you know pretty much do the application or how to find the cars because it's not just about getting the funding, like you said, bro. We got we still gotta go find the right car. The car market crazy, so we gotta you know we gotta figure out what cars is is, is hitting right with dealerships to go to. So we we locking down the lenders, the dealerships, and like I said, four four and one night, bro, is crazy. Ooh. Of your fight go wow. seven sixty and up, you know that life goes. Wow. If your credit too low, walking on the tight rope. So yo, credit up, wow. you get your credit wow. up, wow. credit wow. up, wow. You get your credit wow. up, wow. credit wow. up. I want you to so so. I want you to talk about somebody starting from no, like zero, right? Somebody at the bottom, they want to get into the car rental business. What are like the first three, three, three things that you want to tell them to do to be able to get started in a car rental business? Good question, bro. And real quick, just to dive back to where you was at when you talk about that, that growth mindset and applying it to like something at the gym. So you ain't going to see it every day, but also remember, bro, it's the not seeing it every day and building that progression, right? It's, it's training the muscles that's really the important part. So when you're chasing this bag, when you're running up the bag, when you're getting the cars, the real estate, it ain't really about the end goal, bro. you repeating those actions every day. You're building those muscles, bro, and it's really that journey that's going that's going to craft your life, bro. So um, I just thought about that when you talked about just going to the gym because it really be that journey and falling in love with the process. Thanks. That's really the most important part, right? But when we talk about jumping into this car rental game specifically, right? And this is where this is where I think a lot of people fail with that first step, right? Because they think I'm gonna just go get a will and throw it up there. The first thing you really want to do when you before you jump on Toro, hire a car, get around, is really think about what your goals are, bro. Right? Okay. Think about like like it just it's not even it is not a tangible step to go get something, but I want you to be able to sit down, right? If you want to slide mm -hmm. and think about what the first step is before you jump on car sharing, sit down and understand what your goal is. Whether you just want to make your side income, right? You just want a, a couple hundred dollars to a thousand dollars a month when the car that you got. Mm -hmm. Do you want five or 10 cars or do you want to just start your own car rental business, right? Mm -hmm. Once you understand whichever one of those lanes you fall in, you can kind of take that, that second step, right? The second step is is thinking about how you're gonna fund this acquisition. Because the resource, the biggest resource you, you need in this game is a vehicle, right? And car sharing. So the second thing you need to understand is how you're gonna get into this game. Whether you going to use a personal vehicle that you already have, or you're going um essentially do use like commercial financing, right? Um, so that's number two. And three, I think you want to build a business around this. So mm -hmm. Before we even get to putting the car on the platform, we're thinking about our goal. We're thinking about how we're going to attain these cars, and then we want to put a business around it. So essentially, that's getting the LLC, that's getting all the, all the documentation and, and all your legal documentation ready for when you put these cars out and start running, you know, running this this, this bag up, right? You want to have the LLC, the, the bank account, and everything established before we even go into like starting to make money into into this endeavor. So those are three things I think about when you even first start. And that's nothing even do with putting a car on the, on the road. Mm -hmm. I, I I love what you said, bro, because most people, when you ask them, what's the first step? They'll say, yo, go get, the, go get the money, right? Like, go get the money. Everybody think like getting the money is the easiest part. That's what most people understand. <laughs> right. the, and we're gonna, we're gonna teach you, we're gonna talk about how to get the money, but to be real is the easiest part. The hard part is having a strategy.